up with it Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lives All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yes sir, man Ah, Vader's back, man, you dig? Hopping straight into this one It's like we hopping in the interior You feel me? Go ahead, put on the brake, push the button one time Let's put on that J.I. Galaxy You dig? Gotta get the galaxy going. Man, what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., back at it again with another banger nighttime POV vlog for y'all, man. So, without further ado, man, let's just go ahead and get straight into this video, man. You guys see the title. You see the thumbnail, man. Something's wrong with Vader yet again. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, we... Just got the car out of the body shop and have ran into our first problem since the car has been back. Now, this issue has literally nothing to do with the body shop whatsoever. Honestly, this falls solely on GM, man, um, because this is a very common issue that I've dealt with with literally every single one of the Camaros that I've owned. I've had an issue with this part of the car. However, with Vader, since we got this car at 10,000 miles, the car is still under the 30,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty that comes factory from GM. As you guys can see on the cluster there, we currently have 25,351 miles, man. So that being said, the car is clearly still in line and under the 30,000 mile warranty. You guys are probably wondering what's wrong with Vader? What's, what's going on, J.I.? You say you've had this issue before. So, you know, why don't you just fix it? What's going on? Basically, man, the issue is going to be with my infotainment center, man. I cannot lie to y'all. It's been a headache for sure. Um, dealing with this issue since I've gotten the car, it's been kind of like on and off, but it definitely got worse. I got some clips that I'll be able to run for you guys to show you guys what it's doing. I literally have the USB plugged in right now, bro, and it's not doing anything. It just keeps saying retry, it's failed. I this is literally all it does, y'all. This is all it does. It's gonna load on this screen for all of like five minutes and then it's gonna say that it failed and it cannot connect. Um, But yeah, man, basically the main issue as well man it sounds insane it sounds insane again huge shout out awe no cap um basically what's going on is my infotainment center is literally just you know kind of messed up to say the least man when i first got the car what would happen is i'll be playing music and literally the music would just the sound the audio would just cut It'll cut in and out as if like I had the car connected to my phone via a janky aux cord or something like that. You guys remember where like it went back in the aux cord days, if you jiggled it the wrong way, it would disconnect. And then if you jiggled it again, it would reconnect or the music would go in and out. Well, basically this is what's happening, but with my Bluetooth system. So basically my music will go in and out then I'll have issues to where the Bluetooth itself will not connect. As you guys 
may or may not know this is a 2021 Camaro 1LE. Now, the 1LEs come from factory with the Apple CarPlay option. Now, with the 2020 and up, the Camaros actually have the wireless Apple CarPlay function. So what that is, is normally, traditionally, you would plug in a USB cord, whatever charger you had for your phone, and then the car would either pop up with Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. And then it would it would just sync to your phone and it would play the music, you get your messages, whatever, uh, you know, the maps and what have you, all of that would pop up. Well, basically, with that being said, the issue that I'm having is whenever I get in my car and I turn it on, A, Apple CarPlay will not connect, or B, what I'll have to do is I'll have to forget the car on my phone's Bluetooth settings and then reconnect the car to my phone and then it will play again. Or I'll have to literally turn the car off, open the door so that it kills all power and then turn the car back on. Now, normally when I would do that, it would fix the issue of the music kind of going in and out and the Bluetooth not wanting to connect. However, this time, it didn't want to connect at all. Like the Bluetooth didn't want to connect. Apple CarPlay didn't want to connect. It would say that it's failed. It would tell me to connect the USB port. I will connect the USB cord. As soon as I connect it, it'll try to reconnect again. And then it would say that basically the connection has failed and I need to retry. This was two days ago, right? I went home, parked the car whatever, literally couldn't listen to music with the Bluetooth option or the Apple CarPlay option. It just wouldn't play music at all. It frustrated me, but it is what it is. Next morning, got in, turned it on, Apple CarPlay connected instantaneously, like it was working perfectly fine. Music was playing about five minutes into the drive on my way to work. Literally, the screen just went black, nothing on it at all. And then through the speakers, it sounded almost as if there was metal on metal grinding. It was it was excruciating because I had my music up, as you guys can imagine. So just think about the sound of metal grinding on it, metal blasting through your speakers at 630 in the morning. It definitely was a trip for sure. Um, after that, the noise stopped. Once the noise stopped, the radio literally rebooted itself and then connected to Apple CarPlay again, and it started working perfectly. Now, I don't know what's going on with my car. As you guys heard me say at the beginning of this vlog, the car is still under that 30,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. I've already reached out to my guy, Frank Sisko, over at Mac Hack Chevrolet. He told me that, you know, the radio is covered under the bumper to bumper warranty. So I will be able to have Chevy replace it. Now, the only issue is getting the car to replicate the issue for the Chevy technician that's going to be working on my car so that they can go ahead and approve the replacement of my screen, my entire radio. So with that being said, y'all. You know, I thought I'd go ahead and make this video because like I told y'all in the very beginning of this video, man, I've dealt with some kind of issue with my Camaro's radio in every single Camaro I've owned, whether it be in the music going like, what are you doing, bro? Anyway, whether it being the music going in and out or the Bluetooth not connecting at all or it connecting and then whenever I wanted to change the song, I would have to. <laughs> I would literally have to pause the music, change the song, and then play the music. That was in Mamba, my 2015 2SS. If you guys have been around, been a part of the channel for that car and remember that build, then you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Hazel, that was my very first Camaro. It was a 2011 5th Gen Camaro. That car was a base model, so I had the non-RS package um, radio that had the little small screen. It wasn't touch screen at all. It had all the buttons. It looked 
really kind of trashy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and that radio gave me issues too, man. Even with it being the base model radio, it still gave me issues. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Chevy, if any of the Chevy executives happen to be watching this video, which I doubt it, but if you guys are, hey, what's up? How are you doing? My name's J.I. Send me a ZL1. I would definitely love that. But <laughs> please, if you can't do that, at least step it up with these radios, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. We buy these cars because of the V8s that are in them. We buy them to, you know, modify them and, and you know, kind of get into the motor a little bit. And then also this. Like, I, I love hearing that, don't get me wrong, but I also want to listen to my radio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I also want to listen to my music. So like, if y'all could just do us a solid and kind of crack down on the radio problems and get those situated, man, we would highly, highly appreciate it. Speaking for everyone in the Camaro community, I know everyone who's had an issue with their radio is screaming right now while watching this video. Like, yes, J.I., tell them boys we need new radios. We need better radio software. Y'all got to do something, Chevy, because it's just ridiculous. But with that being said, y'all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. Just wanted to go ahead and update you guys. Yes, my car will be going back to the dealership yet again for yet again another small minor issue. <sighs> Don't you just love when you buy a of your car or a one-year-old car and <laughs> so many bugs that you have to constantly go back and fix so it's like you own the car but you don't own the car because it spends more time in a shop than it does in your own garage yeah that's me no cap <laughs> but like i said man it's gonna wrap up today's video if you haven't subscribed to the channel man turn on those post notifications give this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below if you've had a similar issue i mean nine times out of ten if you have a camaro you have now, if there is a solution that I have not figured out within my three different Camaro ownerships, please drop it in the comment section down below. Help a brother out because I can't lie. When this radio goes dead like that, it's just no fun, man. It's no fun. Especially when you're driving the car through traffic so you can't even get on it to hear the exhaust like that anyway. It's definitely, definitely... A bummer so with all that being said y'all it's gonna wrap it up for this one i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro and i'll see y'all in the next one peace